This is the video for lesson 26 on my website, Introduction to Area and Perimeter. This is a very important lesson which introduces topics that will come up again and again in math. I'm going to start by drawing a rectangle, like this, and for this example I'm going to say that the width of the rectangle is 3 centimeters, and the length of the rectangle is 7 centimeters. And I'll go ahead and say that this rectangle is not drawn to scale. You'll hear that term a lot in math. What that means is just look at the numbers that are given to you and work with those numbers. Don't actually look at the picture too much and worry whether or not the numbers seem as though they're correct. It means just work with the numbers that are given. Okay. The first thing that I'm going to talk about is how to find the perimeter of a shape. The perimeter is simply defined as the distance around the shape. So we're just, me we're just measuring the border. And in the case of a rectangle, the formula for the perimeter, well the first thing I'm going to do is add this width, so I can say W, and then I'm going to add this length, so W plus L. And then it's pretty easy to see that this width over here is the same as this width over there, just by the nature of a rectangle. So it's width plus length plus another width, and of course this is also 7 centimeters, which means we have another length. So in the case of this rectangle, it's 3 plus 7 plus 3 plus 7, which is 20. And I have to retain my units. The perimeter is 20 centimeters. Okay, let's take a look at the area. In math, we define area, well the area of a rectangle in particular, we define it as length times width. What we really want is to know how much space is inside this rectangle. And the way we find that out is multiplying length times width. So we can say the area equals length times width, and in the case of this particular rectangle, it's 7 times 3, which is 21. Now here's what we have to do. We have to write the answer as 21 centimeters squared, or we can say 21 square centimeters. Now let me show you why we have to give our answer in those units. What I have here is another representation of the rectangle that we just saw, a rectangle that's 3 centimeters by 7 centimeters. Now if we, if we take a look along the bottom here, we can see that each of these segments, each of these line segments is meant to be 1 centimeter. And we have 7 of them, so that means that the length is 7 centimeters. Along the width, we have 3 of those segments that are each supposed to be 1 centimeter, so the width is 3 centimeters. Now if we make all that into boxes, you can actually see that each of these boxes will be one centimeter by one centimeter. And another way of saying that is that each box is one square centimeter, or one centimeter squared. Now if we count the boxes, we can see that there are actually 21 of them, which makes sense. There's seven along each row, and there's three along each column. And we have seven times three, which is 21. And that's why we can say that the area of this rectangle is 21 centimeters squared, or 21 square centimeters. The area inside is comprised of 21 squares that are each 1 centimeter by 1 centimeter. This is just a very basic introduction to area and perimeter. We'll come back to this later and work with this topic much more. For now, just make sure that you understand the general idea behind area and perimeter.